Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sam and today I'm going to tell you how to create a virtual tour on your house. This video is intended for both sellers and for listing agents. I just am creating this to try to help more people set up the virtual tour properly so buyers and buyer agents can get them out so we can get some homes sold. We can't leave our house if you're a licensed agent in Michigan. We can't leave our house to show houses or to go to closings or anything like that. But if you're like me, you still have people that want and need to make a move. And these virtual tours are a critical component to making that happen. Um, real quick, we have a couple ways to do virtual tours, but this is all about pre-recorded tours. Uh, another great asset is Matterport Tours. I'll include a link below to one. I love them. I think they're fantastic. And I would say my other favorite is Zoom Tours. So a live tour where sellers and buyers are all on one channel, including the agents. And the call is fantastic. Buyers leave feeling pretty confident usually, but they are more time consuming because the seller and all of the agents, we all have to meet at the same time and they take about 30 minutes. So if you're still working or maybe you don't want to do a live call for every single buyer, a pre-recorded tour is fantastic. Now, currently, because all of this is new to us and not everyone in the world is tech savvy or was planning on, you know, doing their own recordings of their homes or anything like that, this is all new to us. So we have to have virtual tours ready. And what I'm kind of encountering right now is when you ask most agents, they say, oh, okay, I'll send it, or the seller just did one, I'll send it over. And then they realize maybe it doesn't look that great or the file's too big to send via text or email. So I'm gonna talk about how to, one, record it well, two, edit it, one, record it well, two, edit it, and then three, upload it so it's shareable for everyone and it's nice and easy and, You'll love me after this. Okay, so first a few tips. Okay, so first a few tips for when you're actually recording. One, you want to turn your phone. Here's your phone. Here's your camera. Turn it sideways. That is a huge tip, or it's very important. If you ever watch something on Facebook or anything online, and when you have it this way, when you try to turn your phone sideways to get a better view, it gets real small. So. Keep it sideways, you're gonna get the best angles and everything, just trust me, just do it. Uh, number two, slow and steady. You wanna take your time when you're doing this. Don't just record a walkthrough as if you're you know, walking through your house. Slowly pan through the room, stop and focus on maybe the new windows that you had installed or the granite countertops or maybe new light fixtures, whatever you, like you want to highlight take the time and actually stop and pan through it and or zoom in, whatever it is. You don't have to be super fancy with it, but acknowledge those things. Give yourself credit. These buyers need to see this video and you want to show it off. Now, on the flip side of that, I personally think that you should also include some of the things that maybe need a little work or that you don't love about the house. Don't go crazy with this aspect. And if you're the seller, get the advice from your agent. But maybe, you know, you didn't get around to fixing the screen door or something that a seller or a buyer might not like. You know, maybe ask your agent's advice on what to include and what not. But if it's something that maybe bothers you or you think a buyer would notice it, feel free to mention it. I don't think you're going to turn away all buyers from, you know, commenting on one or two items. I think it will make most buyers feel much more confident because you're showing everything as opposed to you know, only the best features, consider it very similar to the seller's disclosure. You're just laying it out as it is. We already have photos that show the best of the best. We need the tour to kind of really be the eyes for us. Number three is to actually talk about the things that you're showing us as well. So, you know, as you're walking into the living room, describe that. Okay, I'm, you know, coming from the living room right off the entry. It's got a great fireplace or this room can easily hold X, Y, and Z. Or a big one that I noticed that people want to know about is if you're in your bedroom, this bedroom has a king size bed or can easily hold a king size and two nightstands here. Because even on camera, sometimes you can't tell the size of the bed and maybe that's a really huge selling point for that buyer is they need to know if their king size bed would fit. 
Uh, yes, we do have the measurements, but just just take the advice. Um, and if you don't feel comfortable doing a like talking as you record, feel free to record it quietly and you can always do a voiceover when we get to the kind of uploading and editing phase. Uh, another tip is you can either record everything all on one, uh, one at one time without stopping or you can kind of film room by room. If you're like me and you have a dog and a child or animals, things like that, it's much easier to go room by room because you can kind of stop, reset, think about yourself, whatever you need to do. It's much easier to do it that way and it's not going to matter when it comes to uploading it because you're going to compress everything anyhow. Uh, so now that you have most of the house done, be sure to include things like your furnace, your water heater, your central air, um, your electrical panel, the outside of the home. These things might not seem fun to record, but these are things that I would be showing my buyers if we were doing a walkthrough that they're going to want to know how they look and if they're up to code or you've done your city inspection, things like that. They're going to ask those questions. So including that on the tour is going to be a lifesaver and it's going to take out a lot of those doubts that they have and make them feel like they're really there and present. Um, and after you have all of that done, how do we share it? So the next step is you are going to stop recording. You're going to download the app. It's called InShot. I'll include all of this below. Um, it's called InShot and you are going to open that up to create a new video. And this is going to allow you to click any of the links or to add any of the clips that you just recorded. You can select all of the ones that you want. And really, you can stop right here, hit save, and now you have your one giant video that you're going to upload. Or you can get fancy and like edit a little. So now would be the time to do the voiceover that I talked about. If you want to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to turn down the volume on all of the tracks. Or... Um, you, you can take the time to delete it, but really you can just turn down the volume for all of the tracks and then you're going to hit record. And when you hit record, again, you can do this all in one. So you could just keep talking or if you're like me, you're going to stop maybe room by room at the same time. That way you can kind of revisit what you're talking about. I think the voiceover or talking in the video is really helpful. You can talk about things like the appliances, if they stay, if they go, if it's gas or electric. It's just really helpful. Um, and it's a little bit more enjoyable to watch versus like music or something because then it's what we do during the real showing. Uh, and so after you've done all of that, you're going to hit save. And then from here, you're going to upload it to YouTube. Now you will need a YouTube channel to do this. Don't worry about creating a whole profile or any of that. Literally, you're just creating or uploading it to YouTube so you can get that shareable link to send to agents and to even upload to the MLS. Um, so that's it. That's pretty much your done. I can create a separate video of actually how to upload it to YouTube. That part's pretty easy. Um, but again, if you need help, you can either, I can create a second video, just comment below on what you need or message me directly and I'll walk you through all of this uh, step by step. If you like this video and found the information useful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone else that is, you know, either currently listing their home or thinking about listing their home. We're probably going to be using the virtual tours for some time now just for people who don't feel comfortable going into homes even once we're able to. So I think this will be kind of useful for some time now. Uh, and that's it. Let me know below if you have any questions or comments and I wish you all the best. I hope everyone's staying inside and staying safe. Uh, thanks guys. Have a great day. Bye. All right, guys, I decided to do a full setup of how I do the uploading. So go to InShot, you're going to go video, create new, and then you're going to select the clips that you want to upload for your tour. Here I am collecting them, and I try to do it in the order I want them in, but you can change that after the fact. So now you have them. Play. You can stop right here and just hit save. Um, you can rearrange them if you want to go room by room. See here I am swapping them around. If you hold it down, the little tiles will show up per clip. Uh, this is the voiceover option. If you hit music, you can hit record, which is how I'm doing this voiceover right now. And then you can edit that as well. 
Um, if you do the voiceover, I recommend extracting the audio from the original or at least turning it down. Uh, so you would hit the volume and then you can either extract or turn it all the way down and then just record the voiceover uh, in itself. Now you hit save and this will um, save the whole file as one video to your phone. Now I did stop myself on here only because this was all created just to, as an example and I didn't want to take up more space on my phone, uh, but you would actually leave it open. Now we're going to go to YouTube and you can hit that little camera button right up top and then you're going to select the video that you want to upload. Your video should be first if you just saved it from InShot. After you select the video, you'll hit upload and it might take a few minutes depending on the length of the video. Uh, I try to keep all my apps closed and the screen open so it can upload. Once it's done, you will have the option to add the title. I make the changes. So usually I'll just upload it blank and try to get it into the system as quick as possible, which is what I'm doing here, as you can see. So after it is uploaded, you can add the title and description if you want to add a description, totally not necessary. Our main goal here is to upload the video so you can get that shareable link to upload onto the MLS and to pass on to agents requesting a virtual showing. Once it's uploaded, you can hit share by hitting those three dots or opening the video, get that link and start sharing. That's it guys, thank you.